वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम वन डैश फोर्टी वन सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज स्ट्रेस आर इंटरनल लोडिंग एंड द बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इन ईच ऑफ ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर डायमीटर बार इज नॉट अलाउड टू एक्सीड वन फिफ्टी मेगा पास कल डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम फोर्स पी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड टू जॉइंट सी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ ट्रस्ट ए बी सी एंड ईच ऑफ दिस बार ऑफ द डायमीटर इज ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर एंड अलाउएबल स्ट्रेस शुड नॉट एक्सीड वन फिफ्टी मेगा पास कल सो यू हैव टू फाइंड दिस मैक्सिमम लोड पी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड टू जॉइंट सी सो एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इन ईच ऑफ द बार शुड नॉट एक्सीज वन फिफ्टी मेगा पास कल दैट इज वन फिफ्टी into 10 to the power 6 pascal and diameter of each rod a b b c and c a is 20 mm that is 0.020 mm and we have to find the maximum force p at joint c so let's start with the solution so from this truss from truss you can see it is a right angle triangle so we have to find this angle theta clear so we know that uh, AC is given as 1.5 meter and AB is given as 2 meter so we will find this AC so AC is not known so by using Pythagoras theorem we know that uh, AC square AC square is equal to sorry AC this is BC not AC so B C square, B C square is equal to A C square plus A B square. So you can just put the value A C is one point five square plus A B is two square, and we take the square root on both side will give you length of B C. So from here you will get uh, this B C will be equal to two point five. meter now you have this bc so what we will do is that we will take joint c take joint c as c and we will analyze it by method of joint so you can see due to this load p it will cause the compression in ab as a result the load applied by this bc on point c will be like this and similarly due to this load p it will move this ac will move toward this side causing extension or tension as a result the load applied by ac at joint c will be this one so let me draw this joint c so this is let this is a point c where you have a load of p that is acting in this direction and this is the load bc load bc at this point this is load bc and this load bc will be in this direction let this load is fbc and at point c the load due to fac or ac will be like this let this is fac here this fbc will make an angle theta so we'll find this theta and we know that tangent of theta is equal to here this perpendicular which is ac divided by this hypotenuse which is bc so i will write uh, ac over bc the length of ac is 1.5 length of bc is 2.5 so from here we will get theta is equal to tangent inverse 1.5 divided by 2.5 and when you calculate it you will get this theta will be equal to 36.86 degree now you have this theta so you can see that we will apply equation of equilibrium for finding uh, this fab and fac so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces in the x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so on, on horizontally there is a force p applied and the second one is the f horizontal component of fbc which is fb cx component and that will be equal to fbc into cos of theta clear so i will write 
प्लस पी माइनस एफ बी सी कॉस थीटा दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो पी इज देयर पी माइनस एफ बी सी वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू फाइंड ऑफ एफ बी सी सो एफ बी सी विल बी इक्वल टू एफ बी सी विल बी इक्वल टू पी डिवाइड बाई कॉज ऑफ टीटा एंड वेन यू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ टीटा पी डिवाइड बाई कॉज ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एट सिक्स सो वेन यू कैलकुलेट इट वन डिवाइड बाई कॉज ऑफ टीटा विल गिव यू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव सो एफ बी सी इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव टाइम्स पी Now you have this FBC. We'll find this FAC by using another equation of equilibrium. That is, sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero, and upward force is taken as positive. So you can see one force that is acting vertically is this minus FAC because it is downward, and another one is this vertical component of FBC, which is equal to FBC sine of theta. So I will write minus F A C plus F B C into sine of theta is equal to zero. So we have every we have to find F A C. So F A C will be equal to F B C sine of theta, and sine of theta is thirty six point eight six degree. Okay. so we know now fbc which is 1.25 times p so fac is equal to 1.25 times p multiplied by sin of 36.86 degree and you will get fac is equal to 0.75 times p so i will write fac is equal to 0.75 times p now you can see that initially i have told you that this member is in compression fab clear and this member will be in tension so we will write it over here i will choose in other color this is in fbc is in compression so i will write c and fab ac is in tension okay now we'll move toward another page we will find uh, uh, we will find this uh, fab so for that we will take this joint b and we will apply method of joint okay so take point b and apply method of joint okay so here at point b you can see that you have a reaction force that is due to this uh, roller support at point b this is by due to this member bc there is a force which is in this direction fbc and this makes an theta with horizontal and there is a, a load due to this member fab so the load will be like this one so we will draw it over here so this is point b this is your point b here you have a load due to reaction load which is by clear on horizontally there is fab which is in this direction and load due to fbc is like this and this makes an angle theta this is fb c so we will find this fa by using equation of equilibrium and that is sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so horizontally we have this fab in this direction which is negative and the other one is this horizontal component of this and this horizontal component is fbc into cos of theta their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write minus fab plus fbc into cos of theta is equal to 0 we are interested to find of fab so fab is equal to 
FBC into cos of theta. FBC which we have calculated is 1.25 P. So 1.25 times P and cos theta is 36.86. So when you calculate it, you will get this FAB is equal to um, P. And again you can see that this load is on joint B is like this. So as a result this load will be the load in stress uh, in uh, member AB is in tension. Okay. So I will write this as tension T. Now you have FBC which was 1.25 times P you have FAC which is 0 0.75 times P and FAB FAB is equal to P so we will we have to find the uh, maximum P at joint C so for maximum loading average normal say, I, let me write it average normal stress since the cross sectional area and allowable allowable normal stress of each bar are the same member BC member BC having maximum normal force you can see that this member is a maximum 1.25 times P so maximum normal force is the critical member so critical member so we will find this P based on this average normal stress we know that average normal stress allowable is equal to FBC because this is the maximum divided by area these two values are same so we will get FBC is equal to FBC is equal to allowable into area and area for circular rod or bar is equal to pi by 4 d square and d is 20 millimeter or 0 0.02 meter square so you will get area is 0 0.3142 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 square meter now this fbc is equal to 1.25 into P is equal to allowable stress. Allowable stress is 150 into 10 to the power 6 PSI. So 150 into 10 to the power 6 and area is 0 0.3142 into 10 to the power minus 3. And when you calculate it, you will get P will be equal to 150 into 10 to the power 6 into 0 0.3142 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 1.3. Two, and you will get this load P will be equal to 37.699 Newton or this P is equal to 37.7 kilo Newton which is the answer of this question and that was all about this problem 1-41 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching